fine. Helena. Ashley. Good to see you. Um, so we like to consider ourselves professional snackers. Uh, oh. I mean, look at me. Professional snacker here. <coughs> so um, Ashley and I share a passion for food, and we decided that we were going to take two competitors, the snack crate and a universal yum box, and we were going to unbox them together, try all of the food together, and then we were going to do some comparisons and see um, what we liked, give you guys some reviews of some things, and let you know what it's like. You know what I should have done? What's that? a ring light for the lighting. That yeah. That would have been better. Well, next time. Next time. We're going to do a, a lot of these videos, I would assume. I have a six-month subscription a set up, so I'm doing this at I'm least six times. <laughs> I don't know what I got. Okay, so who do we want to do first? Uh, snack crate or yums? I don't care. Let's do mine. Mine's a lot okay. bigger, I think. Okay. Okay. We're going to do Ashley's crate first. Ooh, shoot. I'm very excited. Oh, you almost that spilled it. You said, I said, I won't spill this. Okay. Germany. Ooh. Germans. And they give you Sprechen's this cute the little package. Oh. Tells you some fun facts. About Germany? About Germany, yeah. I like it. Like, I like it. Um, it is not illegal to escape prison. I swear. Uh, <laughs> it really is not. Then why wouldn't everybody do it? I don't know. It's something about freedom. Is it just too hard to escape prison? Can they shoot you, though? It may not be illegal, I don't but they know. might be able to do The things. German law states that it's human nature to want to be free, so prisoners have the right to escape jail. Huh. <laughs> Oh, no. I will not be visiting and Germany. And then it tells you what Germany. everything you get. So we got all of these. Oh, Harry Bow. Yeah, these are going to be really good, I think. I don't really know if that would, they sell those exact ones, but they sell that brand in the United States. Mm -hmm. And then we get a drink. I added the drink this time. Shrip Swap. Oh, what a fun name. I know. What would you like to drink? I'd like a Shrip Swap. Okay. All right, let's do this. Drum roll. First snack is? We're going to start with this one, because this is the one I've wanted to try. What is it? Uh, chips Frisch. It is chips frisch. sun fried, no, sun dried red pepper chips. Mmm, I like me some peppers. Mmm, it smells good though. What does it smell like? Red peppers. Mmm, <laughs> it kind of smells like barbecue. I don't taste like red peppers. I ain't mad at it, though. Oh, no, they're really good, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have the other one. That's really good. Yeah, they're very delicious. Oh, yeah. Mmm, they kind of remind me of a mix between, like, a kettle chip and a Lay's. Like, it's not crunchy enough to be a kettle chip, but it's not, like, thin enough to be, like, a Lay's potato chip. And it does taste like barbecue. Yeah, I'm about it. I like it. So German barbecue is peppers. Okay. I don't speak German anymore. But you used to speak German? Wait, oh dang it. Yeah, I took three years of it. Go. Oh. And then my grandma's German. Okay, alright. Oh. These are kinda like Cheetos. But peanuts. Peanut Cheetos. <laughs> it smells like peanuts. It does smell like peanut butter. Mm. I think I still got that. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, it's super salty like a peanut. It tastes just like a peanut. It really does. Like you harbored a peanut only with Cheetos. This scent reminds Cheetos. me of peanut butter crackers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a but it don't have lick that. your finger kind of snack. But I don't have that another one. I do not know. They're delicious, though. I'm going to share these. It tastes just like I'm at a ball game eating a peanut. Oh, yeah. We should probably stick to salty, then, before we go mixing in. I mean, whatever you decide. I can go sweet and salty. It doesn't matter. This is the one I'm not excited about. bi -fi. I have no information beefy. on this because there Th was Is it some... beefy or bi -fi? I have no idea. I'm going to say bi -fi. That's but... Wi-Fi. I have no information because some of the stuff that was supposed to come in my box, they were out of. Oh, okay. So this is a, it, I know it's got to be pizza. Is it like a Because I see pizza and salami. Cake. 
Ooh, I like salami. <laughs> pizza sauce. I'm Italian, so. <clears throat> I don't speak. Salami. Yeah, it smells like it. Like salami or like pizza? Because those are different smells to like, me. It kind of reminds me of a Lunchable, like a pizza Lunchable. It looks like a it looks bad like a, dinner roll. Oh, I don't think I'm going to like it. <laughs> Get out ready, Tony. I'm not going to like this. Ooh. I don't, okay. I'm not going to like it. I don't no, like I, pizza sauce. You missed meat. There's meat on care. this side. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that very much. Ooh, there's a piece of salami in there. Can you see it? No. Mm. I like salami. I do not like pizza sauce. Oh, I like it. I'm going to eat this. Oh, go ahead. You can have it all. I do not like that. Mm -mm. It is exactly like a pizza lunchable, though. It's but with soft bread and not that like weird crusty thing. Okay, these are knickknacks. Oh, camera's this way. Knickknacks. Oh, it's this way. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> they are double crunch peanuts. So it's like a peanut with a hard shell on the outside that tastes like barbecue. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, did you say peanut and barbecue? I need to yep. palate. Do you want a drink to yes. your palate? All I can taste is pizza sauce. I don't like it. Which is delicious. I don't like pizza sauce. Okay. I think that's what this is. Look, see, I should have opened this because it tells you. You get a description? Yeah. Crunchy peanuts that are coated in a zesty barbecue flavor. But it's got... Oh, so kind of like eating honey roasted nuts. Yeah, but it's got like a... Um, a crunchy coat? It's like the peanut is inside. Like you can hear it. Oh! I don't know if you can hear it in there. I don't think he'll be able to pick that up. Okay, we're going to have to do a close up of the crunch. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, that's a spicy barbecue. But a very good barbecue. Oh, I like that thing. Yeah, I enjoy it. I oh, enjoy yeah. it. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Do it. Y'all hear that crunch? Oh, yeah. These are good. Ooh. I like that. Ooh, that's good. I like that. Oh, that's a good snack. Back here. That's a solid snack. Knickknacks. I would have crunch peanuts. I, I like that. I would Is there nutrition that. information on this? Yeah, but I think it's all in German. Mm. <laughs> I do not sprechen zu Deutsch. I don't sprechen Deutsch anymore either. You have some very interesting things in this box. I'm just know. looking at it. These, <clears throat> I hear when I watch the video on these, are like, they look like little cereal. Wait, you cheated? You watched a video on this? On this box, yeah. That's but cheating. it didn't come up with everything that I have. Oh, okay, okay. Like, that wasn't in there. Oh. Those were not in there. Oh, those are good. I'm glad they were in there. Um, yeah, because I think a couple of the things that are on here, like, I don't have that. Oh. So they had to, like, replace some stuff. I don't have that. The chocolate thing. Oh, Kinder Buenos are delicious. They sell them here, and I, I eat them all really the time. I was really wishing I would have got a, a Happy Hippo, but I didn't get him. Yeah. But I think these are cereal something. Excuse me. Colorful fruit-flavored fruit bites. bites. Oh, rice and corn. Rice and corn. A hint of sour? Yeah. That's so, like, I, so, sour Fruit Loops? Yes. Okay, I'm about it. I'm about it. Okay. We're going to oh, dump this just... right into my mouth because I'm about to <laughs> enjoy it. They don't really smell. Oh, but they are sour. Are they? <laughs> oh, yeah. I would not serve that with milk. Mm -mm. Woohoo! I like it, but don't like it. It reminds me of gum. Like the flavor. Yes, like, but with gum. like kicks afterwards like yeah. the plain kicks not the berry berry kind yeah don't put rice sour on that on rice it's it's like you yeah. took like the sour powder and you put it on top of your cereal i mean i'm not mad at it but oh it's interesting it's definitely interesting okay <laughs> i got two of these because one they got different packages Lach, they're gummies, gummies. Which are? Looks like I have banana. 
I have a banana. And I think I got an orange in here. Oh, I have a cherry. And there's no information. Oh, I got a orange slice. Mm. It tastes, it tastes, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> it tastes like gummy bears. <coughs> Wrong pipe. <coughs> are you, take a drink. You don't like Will it? that help? I don't know. I'm not trained in CPR or the Heimlich. Oh, these are so good. I like these. I think Me this is, too. Is that a cherry? I think it's a lemon. Yes, that's a cherry. Okay, let's see. Mm. What is this? Look at this banana, though. Mm. Oh, I don't have a banana. Do you want a banana? No. I have two. What is that? Is that a, a lemon? lemon. Yeah. So then what is this? An orange? Yeah. Yeah. I like how the detail on it. Really this cute. is definitely something I would frequent if I was a child. Oh, yeah. Then or we're an adult. But seriously, in Ooh. school, you could catch me eating all these. Oh, and these you can this make like little faces. I'll show you the package. You can make little faces. Like you can put them together. Mm. You can make. That was a weird one. I like it. Mm, me too, yeah. I had some other sort of Delicious. candy in here. Okay, let's try the volcanoes. Because these are the ones I was the most, <clears throat> second most excited. Excited. Volcanoes? And I think. Are they supposed to be like spicy? Nope. And that's the, that's the German word for sour. Oh. So I think there's like juice inside of it. So it's like a gusher, like a fruit gusher. Oh, okay. I like those. I like those. When you say juice inside of it, I was I like. I like the smell of it though. Oh. <laughs> Let's see it smells kind of like feet. Yeah, it's got the juicy in it. Let's see which color I want. What color did you get? Orange, or yellow, orange and yellow. I'm doing a green one. Oh, that looks real good. Green. Okay, are you ready? On to go. <laughs> I meant. <laughs> It's not as sour as those sour balls, but not as good as, as you those. expected. Yeah, and not as good as these. I no, I, I agree. I like these better. <clears throat> I agree. That's a very unexpected. I like the middle part better. Let's try a blue one together. Let's both try a blue one. I like the middle part better than I like the outside. Oh, shit. That but good. it's probably because I like sour. Okay. One, two, three, go. I feel like I'm doing one of those ASMR videos. Do you watch those? <laughs> yeah. I do too. And I like it when they do the gummies and they're like. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. I do. I think I like the other one better, that yellow. Mm, I don't know. It was good. They don't okay. smell good though. They smell like they feet. They smell gross. Don't. But taste okay. Yeah, they taste delicious though. Okay. This. Noppers. Do you not pronounce the K in German? No, I don't think you do. Okay, so still knoppers. Nope, but it's crispy hazelnut wafer cookies. Ooh, filled, I could throw with some hazelnut. Filled with delicate nougat I like and sweet milk hazelnut. cream. Yeah. Hazelnuts, delicious. And wafers, <laughs> game over. Oh, yeah. There. I'll let you take a piece of it. This is what it looks like. Oh, look at the layers. I know. Kind of kind of looks like a, <clears throat> a hazelnut s'more. Like, like that's hazelnut. what my s'mores look like. I like that. Mm. It reminds me of the wafer cookies. Yep. With Nutella. Yep. Mm. I really like that. Mm. It's a win in my book. Yep. Because I have another wafer. This one, Germans like their wafers, is just rich chocolate and hazelnut filling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> more hazelnut, more hazelnut. And I think this one's got pieces of hazelnut in it, though. Oh. That sounds delicious. Ashley, why is only half your face in the video? I don't know. Maybe because I'm not this, this way. way no more. This way, this way, this way. 
I don't want to get. <gasps> they come individually wrapped. That's cool. So they're like um, share versions. Yeah, like a little Debbie share pack. I don't share my little Debbies. I don't either, but I'm, you know. Actually, I don't understand what's going on here. It's because I'm not this way. Is that better? Is, yeah, it's good. Is it good for you? No. <laughs> Anytime we're sharing snacks is a good time for me, Ashley. Yep. I like snacks. Oh. Oh, yeah. This could be my favorite thing we've opened yet. I, I need some milk to dip this in. Mm. This is really good. I'm not so upset that I don't have that happy hippo no more. Oh, man. Because this. It's like thick. Mm -hmm. Like, roof of your mouth. Milk chocolatey, hazelnutty oh, yeah. goodness. I love chocolate. Mm. I could eat this. This is one I would not share. I would not share this. I'm going to say this and the double crunch peanuts so far are my favorite. The barbecue double crunch peanuts. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with this one so mm. far. And I like the chips. I don't I'm know, a but savory I like that, guy. I like that, that, that knopper, too. Oh, I think the knopper goes behind this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the knopper might go in front of the this chips. This guy has me. more deck in it. Oh, yeah. That tastes so good. These I don't have any information on either because these are ones that they sent me. Because that have did I say that really? Was that offensive? No. I think they're just butter cookies. Butter cakes. Butter. That's what it looks like. <laughs> das original. K E K S cakes. I don't know why I feel like I have to sound like a grown man when I'm very speaking sure. <laughs> I think it's a butter cake. No, I think that's definitely normal because that's I do thing. it too. Yeah, it's mm. definitely a thing. Well, these are broken. I think I've broken these somehow. These look kind of boring compared to what we've had. Kind of tastes like an animal cracker. I'm not mad at it. No, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I thought it was going to be super boring, but no, it's good. But it's really good. It's like better than a shortbread cookie. I think it tastes like animal crackers, and I love animal crackers. I think it's a little bit more buttery than an animal cracker. It tastes like I those like. animal crackers that come in the big, huge... I'm like Paula like Dean the red and butter. yellow, the red and yellow bag. Bag. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. what it tastes mm -hmm. like to me. Yep. Okay, this one. Snack that. That sounds I English. Think that's what it says. <laughs> it doesn't sound like German. <laughs> uh, now what it says underneath. Watch, I don't have this Kuchin either. Snack. That sounds. <laughs> I don't think I have this either. Oh yes, I do. A delicious combination of sweet vanilla and chocolate cake mixed together in a delightful marble pattern. Oh, hold on. Let me get ready for this. It looks delectable. Is that a word? Uh, yes, it delectable. is. Delectable? Yep, did I sure use is. that in the right way? You did. All right. Yep. Thanks, English teacher. Uh-huh. Let's half this cake. Okay. It's a big guy. And I've got diabetes. <clears throat> Uh, you're laughing, but that's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. I know. That's why I was like, is this probably smart? Not. But we still love snacks. Did you take, your, so did you take your sugar before this? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. I judged myself. I covered myself for this. I liked it. I don't understand how they keep the cake so soft. You would think it would be, like, hard. By now, yeah. Yeah, like, dried out. It's, it's not. not. It's like... The inside of a wedding cake, but with I don't, no icing. And I don't like cake, but I like this. Oh, I like cake. I like cake. It kind of reminds me of a muffin consistency. Mm -hmm. like the end, if you get the soft top of the muffin, not the bottom. The tops. Like those chocolate muffins with the chocolate chips? Yeah, like yeah, the muffin I feel tops. It. Yep, I feel it. Ooh, chocolate chips would be good in that. It would. Oh my god, yeah. We should write them. We should. Add some chocolate chips to your okay. stuff, Germany. We have one more snack, but it's candy. And then we have the drink. About candy. And I'm really mad that the drink doesn't say Schwab Schwab on it. Me too! It says Mezzo Mix, but... Mezzo Mix, but... It is Schwab Schwab. Because it's cola with orange. Ooh, let's try it. I don't drink soda. Should I go get a cup, or are we going to drink from the same one? I don't really care. 
I don't have germs. <clears throat> we don't play by COVID rules right now. It smells like Coke. I don't taste the orange. Oh, yeah, it does smell like Coke. I don't taste the orange. I just nope. taste Coke. It tastes like Coke. That's good Coke. I like it. All right. Okay, what color you want? Red? Yes. Yellow? How did you know that red was my favorite color? Oh, this is like a dark red. I'm going to go with yellow. Like These are delicious and fruity hard candies with sparkling bubble pow- bubbly powder hidden inside to give your tongue a sweet surprise. So, like Pop Rocks on the inside of here? I'm afraid it's going to be like Warheads. But like a fruity Warhead, <sighs> not sour. And I can't even get mine out of the package. <laughs> mine kind of tastes like a wine cooler <laughs> mine tastes like a halls <laughs> like a strawberry like a, daiquiri like a, wine cooler i'm mine, about to bite it mine tastes like a lemon halls i'm about to bite it what up You can talk. Go ahead. You can talk. He can cut it out. What do you want on your haters? Oh, that's really good. Garlic butter. I spilled some stuff on this bill. <laughs> it's right there. Right there. A pen. I'm looking around. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be so mad at me. We'll just fix it. Oh, my God. God dang it. Mm. What country are we in? Germany. Is it gross? No, some of it's really delicious. Garlic. Try this. Oh. Am I in the frame? No. no. You want garlic what salt? Is it cake? Like a... You want garlic Perfect. salt? Yeah, and butter. You want all that? Okay. Mm-mm. Make mine how you make mom's. I have this too. And Ashley, how do you wafer. want your potatoes? How much potatoes? Oh, wafers. What do you mean? What do you want? We do grill packets on the thing. What do you want your mm. potatoes seasoned with? We are good. Montreal steak seasoning, garlic Chicken, salt. Larry's. I have everything. What do you want on them? Just tell me and I'll put it on there. I like garlic. That's all you want? Garlic, yep. But... Like me. The food or fuck mine. Yeah, otherwise I just use like salt and pepper and stuff. I'm, I'm not difficult. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> Still on this hard candy. I like that. Oh, I got to the middle. The middle is really good. Yeah, it's kind of like those... um. You know those strawberry candies that have the, st- the strawberry on the outside? Like, the packaging is strawberry. strawberry. Yeah. It's like that. It's like that gooey middle, but with sour in it. Mine doesn't feel gooey. Oh, it's, mine does. It's, f- like, fizzy. I'm getting a mix of both. I like it. Looks <laughs> gross. Food. That's it. That's all I have. And we're done with Germany. Okay. So, let's vote on our favorite... Two. Okay. For me, definitely this. Oh, yeah. The what hazelnut. That's my number two. This, I think, is my number one. Okay. This is my number one. The peanuts. The knickknacks. Yes, because I'm more of a savory person. Say, so I like sweet. I like my sweets. Oh. Mm-hmm. But I, like my sweet. I will never turn down a good potato chip. That's why or I'm going to go with this. Number two. I just gleeped everywhere. That's my number two. Oh, okay. Well, this is my number one. And the... This one? Yeah, the hazelnut is my number two. And this comes in a close third, because I really like it. The whip swap. Even though it don't taste like orange. Maybe it's not. Yeah, just Maybe like they coke. just lied to me and told me it's, re- it's really just Coke. <laughs> <laughs> the German whip off. <laughs> I mean... Okay. So let's go ahead and get your stuff boxed back up. And then we'll dive into a universal yum. Oh, but I like these too. Oh, yeah, those were good. So good. Do you want to put the bi fire on? <laughs> I'd rather just throw that in the trash. <laughs> I'd really rather just throw that one in the trash. Okay. But that's just me. Are we ready for box number two? Are you going to keep it there? Yeah. Okay. Are you stoked? So I don't want to move. Yes, I'm excited about this one. Okay, so this is how Universal Yums come. 
It comes with a cute little sticker that like gives you a hint about where we're going. I don't know if you can see it. So the original home of Memphis looks very Egyptian, and because I cheated, I know it's Egypt. <laughs> I looked on you my. You haven't Facebook. even opened it. Uh uh-uh. uh What? Nope. Okay, I I'm, did I'm just cheat. Now. I'm just I now cheated. Busting it open. Oh. Oh yeah. It's pretty in here. Oop. No. Oh, wrong way. I like this. Uh, ooh. Yeah, you get two things. Okay. So go ahead and hold that oh, up for the they camera. they give you like a little scoreboard. Yeah, they do. They're they're bougie. This is really cool. I enjoy so them. So you're going to raise them. I'm glad you went with this one. Yeah. Um, and then we get a booklet. A lot like Ashley's, it gives us a description. <laughs> it tells you rejects. The rejects. Oh, who didn't make it? <laughs> yeah. So, on the inside of the Universal Yums, you get to explore. Um, they give you some, like, Egypt in 60 seconds. Oh, that's cool. Fun things. Um, much you more. You do some trivia. You guys want to do some trivia? That's much more. Um, okay. Yeah, let's do it. That's okay. much more detailed than How mine. much of Egypt is desert? Is it multiple choice? Yes. Okay. A, 45%. B, 60 C, 75 Or D, 90 I'm going to go with C. Okay, and I'll say B. So 60 or 75. We are both wrong. <laughs> it like is 90%. 90%. <laughs> like, I Jesus, it. So much That's desert. a lot. Which of these landmarks was meant to stand in Egypt? The Statue of Liberty, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Washington Monument, or the Eiffel Tower? Number two. the Pisa? The, yeah. I would have said that same thing because it sounds like Yeah, it sounds like something, something Egypt, Egypt would, have. would have. No, it's the Eiffel Tower. So oh, no, I lied. Tower? I lied. I lied. I lied. It's... The Statue of Liberty. So the Statue of Liberty that's in the United the gift States for us. is supposed to be okay, ready? in Egypt? You may know the Statue of Liberty was given to the U.S. by Frenchman Frederick Bartholdi. Bartholdi? Bartholdi? I don't know how to say his name. But did you know that he originally designed the statue as an Arab woman for Egypt's Suez Canal? Egypt's ruler really rejected the expensive design, so he repurposed it for us. So we got sloppy seconds. And we use that as our icon? All right. That's rude. Okay. Anyway, so you get the gist. Man. Very fun things. They also have, like, a culinary tradition is using salty dried locusts, rancid mullet fish, sandy pita bread, or smoked papyrus. What was the question? Which of the following is an Egyptian culinary tradition? Salty dried locusts, rancid mullet fish. I hope <laughs> it's not that one. Sandy pita bread or smoked papyrus. I'm going to go with D. I'm going to go with A. It is B. Rancid Dang. mullet Malt fish. fish. Of course Not it is. Now I'm a little nervous to eat the box. <laughs> I think I am too. Okay, anyway. So you get it. Trivia, questions up here, answers down here. If there's something fish in this box, I'm probably going to I will gonna, die. I'm probably gonna and then it tells you to start here, and it gives an excerpt about each one. Oh, so they tell you what's coming in it. Yeah, they, yes. Oh, then let's go by their suggestions. By their suggestions. You want to go through their stuff? Yeah. And they have a oh, list of nutrition have- facts in there. In English. In English. Well, that's nice. Because I need those to correct for my stuff. And then they have uh, true false stuff, gods and goddesses of Egypt. Like, this is a really cool little packet. That is cool. And then at the very end, I always like that they do um, a recipe from your country. So this week is a drink, Carcade, an iced tea perfect for a hot Egyptian summer. And it tells you how to make it yourself. I would have thought it was lemonade. It looks like lemonade. It's like red. This way, yeah. Yeah, I'm really bad at that. The camera. The camera. Anyway, so <laughs> let's I go like through. It. Do you want to read about it before we try it? Or do you want me to I read about it? I think I should it? guess of what it looks like from the package. Okay. But then you can tell me about it. Tiger, chili, and lemon. Mm. Chili and lemon potato chips. Oh, that's these. Oh. We'll turn around show the camera. I have a feeling it's going to be hot. Okay, open it up. You've tried sour lemon candies, sweet lemon desserts, and tangy lemonade, but today you'll be trying spicy lemons. Cool! (laughs) Egyptians are... (laughs) Shut up! Egyptians are... Oh, that's weird. Egyptians are no stranger to far out flavor. Pickled lemons preserved in jars with salt and chilies date all the way back to 12th century. Today, Egyptians add them to their favorite dishes for an unmatched umami flavor. Or they'll eat the preserved slices on their own. Ew, rind and all. 
We think you'll enjoy the flavor most. These uniquely addictive chili lemon potato crisps. Let's oh, they come try. in different flavors. Let's give it a try. Much like I think Lay's, like too. Ten, 10 different flavors. 11, maybe. Yeah, because the green is... Oh, but it's got a tiger on the back. Yeah. It's definitely got a kick. But I like it. Oh, yeah. I like that. And I think I like that better than my, my chips really? in my pack. I like it. Tastes like a ruffle. Oh, that's a lot of heat at the end. <laughs> I like the heat, though. You might want to take The a lemon drink. is really nice. Yeah, I know my eyeballs, all the eyeballs are starting to water. I like it. It's not too hot for me, though. No, it's good. I could definitely see myself. Like, Grippo's. Grippo's have that spiciness to mm -hmm. them. But I really love the flavor, so I, like, throw down a few and take a drink. And throw down a few and take a drink. I could probably I could just do eat that the whole this. bag. I'd probably yeah. just eat the whole bag. Fire mouth over here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next. God, Egypt likes to be spicy. I don't know if you said uh, Kano or Kono. I'm gonna say I don't Kono, know, but I, I see like a better. pizza Kono. on that bag. Kono, that's not oh, a pizza. That on this one, I'm looking at the wrong bag. It's this no. one. Kono barbecue barbe <laughs> barbecue popcorn. Yeah, Kono popcorn burning barbecue. Mm. <clears throat> there are two types of burns Egyptians encounter on a regular. Sunburns, which is partly why ancient Egyptians wore some face makeup. Ooh, I didn't know that. And grill burns. The latter is because... It's not too bad. Barbecue, locally named mashwiat, is one of Egypt's most popular cuisines, encompassing everything from kebabs to grilled kofta to even pigeon. You'll get a taste of Egypt's obsession with barbecue and this burning barbecue-inspired popcorn. Way more pleasant than the sunburn. I hope so. Oh, these are small popcorns. Look like normal popcorns. I like how you get the cheddar popcorn and the... And the Mexican... Oh, I could, I could throw down some I popcorn. I could eat that too. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Oh, yeah, I'm about it. I'm all about it. It tastes the it tastes like the it's popcorn bin. Strong barbecue flavor. Sorry, I knocked over our other camera. This one's gonna be mad at me. Okay. I like that. I like how it has a happy and a sad man on the package. Look at his face. He's mad. That was good. I, I like wouldn't that. consider that overly spicy mm -hmm. either. It's very barbecue-y. Not as spicy as that, but I do like this. I like yeah. it. We have some more chocolate hazelnut and wafer. Maybe we are maybe lucky. that's a thing. Okay. Sakalans wafer halawa cookie. <laughs> no. That's coffee. Yeah, I lied. I skipped one. Chocolate wave hazelnut. That's this. Okay, I'm glad you found it because I was looking. <laughs> Chocolate wave hazelnut. Uh, this is something that guests bring as gifts when they come over to people's I'd houses. I'd accept that gift. Yeah, if it's chocolate they, and wafer, I'm uh, down. So it says most Egyptians don't drink alcohol in accordance with Islam, and flowers are reserved for somber occasions, which leaves one gift no one could ever turn down. Chocolate. I don't think I'd I'm trying to be that. Egyptian, but I don't understand how these people are always skinny. Have you ever seen oh. a chunky Egyptian? No. Me neither. Wait. Which is weird because they'd be giving each other chocolate as gifts all the time. Oh, this is really interesting. It looks it's really like good. Coated. Do you want? Yeah, take this. Why? You don't want the whole I thing? I can't eat that whole thing. I can. It's like wafer covered Ooh. in chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make mm. sure you lick your fingers. And it's soft, melty. Oh, yeah. I would compare this to the other one. I think I like mine better because it's got kind of tastes dark, like a dark chocolate. Mm hmm. And I love dark mm. chocolate. But this, I like really this. Really good, though. I like this better than that knobber. Yep. 
that has yeah. milk with it. There's like extra chocolate in this though. It's like on the outside, on the and inside. And the inside. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm liking these boxes. Can I? Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, now we get to try the succulon, which is wafer halawa and candy. I don't know what halawa is. Oh, apparently it's a type of sesame. With so, coffee? I mean, that's what it says. Wafer with sesame and coffee cream. Oh, coffee cream. Egyptian hospitality is a two-way street. Guests supply the chocolate, host supplies the coffee. Oh, that's this. You'd hardly have sat down in an Egyptian home before you were offered a cup. And it's considered a must okay. to accept. That's what this what is? What if you don't like coffee? No, that's not what this is. We don't have that. Yes, we do. Are you sure? Because I think that's what this... Oh. <laughs> it's like, that's not what this Bruh. is. Bruh. Wafers filled with havala. <laughs> halva. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, halva. That's a thing. Mm. Yeah. And coffee cream. Okay, so you can take your pick of a super bitter brew, which is a sada, a mildly sweet aria, a medium sweet masbut, or a very sweet ziata. I'd be taking me a ziata or a masbut. It looks like a sugar wafer. Okay. This is a sweet sesame paste filled wafer. Fi sahitkum. That means cheers in Arabic. Well, this is just like an overly large sugar wafer that fell apart. <laughs> Okay, then. There's sesame paste in there. Yep. Oh, it smells interesting. So I smell coffee. Oh. And it tastes exactly like a vanilla sugar wafer. Mm. Ooh, I get the nuttiness after. I like it. When they say it's a paste, they mean it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get it all over myself. I feel like a dog with a peanut butter stuck to the roof of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. From that. No, from this. No. All that chocolate is on the roof of my mouth. Oh. I like that, though. Well, all the halibut paste I is like on that my... better than this one. I would agree with that. Yeah. It's a fair assessment. Okay, next. What's next? Next is a duetto. A biscuit cookie with date filling. We don't need a lot of dates in the United States. I don't think I eat dates at period. Looks reminds me of a Fig Newton. Oh, yeah. I might like that. I don't think I've ever had a date. What's the difference between a date and a fig? I don't know. If you're looking for dates, the fruit kind, not the romantic kind, <laughs> there's no better place than Egypt's Nile River Valley. For millennia, this especially for a region has produced more dates than anywhere else in the world. Thousands of years ago, dates were pressed into wine. Today, they're used to make delectably crumbly cookies like this one. Okay, so it either looks like um, one of those Nutri-Grain bars, like a breakfast bar. Oh, I love those. Or an oversized Fig Newton. I also love those. Either way, I win. What does that smell like? Nothing I've smelled before. I love see. It kind of looks like a Fig Newton on the inside. It tastes like a Fig Newton. Not as soft as a Fig Newton. Yeah. The outside's a little bit more crumbly. Crispy. It's got that nice golden brown color. But the inside is definitely Fig Newton-ish. I like dates. Maybe dates or figs. Maybe they're in the same family. I'm about it. I'm about it, too. I'm about it. Where's the case, though? The thing, so I can put it back in there. You wonder who's gonna enjoy that? My grandma. Oh, grandma would probably love it. Oh yeah, She's, this is gonna be a favorite. Okay. Next we have Kono <laughs> Puffs Crazy Tomato. Looks like a Cheeto bag. I like cheeto bags. With a happy and angry... What is with what is with their packaging? You have a happy Cheeto and a mad Cheeto. I think that's supposed to be a crazy Cheeto. Because it's crazy tomato. But I don't know. Maybe they're like 
This is how you are before and after you eat the Cheetos. I'm pretty sure they have ketchup for eyebrows. That's funny. <gasps> smells like ketchup. I'm not going to like this. Oh, I like ketchup. And I hate ketchup. Smell I'll go first. It. No. <laughs> oh. I'm not it's like I just it. opened a ketchup packet. <laughs> no. I'm You're going to try I'm it. I'm going to hate that. I'll try it, but I'm not going to like it. Mm-mm. Super tangy tomatoey. Yeah, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. Take a drink. You want to buy us some Nopper or something? Take another one of them chips. I guarantee those those chips will cancel it out. Um, I personally think they're good. Mm -mm. I'm not down for that. Mm -mm. Looks exactly like a Cheeto, and then and bam, it's like hits you with a tomato. Uh huh. Yeah, you're right. No. I'm, if your kids are obsessed with ketchup, I'm not a fan. Good snack. I like the consistency. The flavor is disgusting. Oh, I think it's really good. I can't. I, I can't do ketchup. I think they partnered with Heinz to make that delicious. <laughs> it does smell like Heinz ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> like mm -hmm. straight. The next thing is El Shamadon White. <sighs> oh, that's this thing. Yeah. That mm -hmm. I was trying to eat earlier. Looks like a Kit Kat bar, but white. Like a white chocolate Kit Kat bar. It is a white chocolate covered wafer with cocoa cream. Its long history in the city of Alexandria has more than its fair share of marvels. It's a wafer biscuit filled with chocolate and coated with white chocolate. Okay. I don't like white chocolate, but... It should give you a little patties to open it. Well, this Why? When our teeth work the same. <laughs> you shouldn't do it with your teeth. I don't listen to what people tell me. Oh, it's shareable. It's, oh, look, you can break it like a Kit Kat. Break me off a piece of this shamanam bar. <laughs> I think I got a piece of hair. Not surprising in my house. Well... This house, there are cats. Mm. I don't like white chocolate, but I like this. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I'm oh, glad yeah. I rinsed out the ketchup before I took a bite of it. <laughs> <laughs> right, because that would not have been good. But this is... Surprisingly satisfying. Yeah. It's like refreshing. Like I it's like... one of those desserts that's not a heavy dessert. You could eat it and still feel good about yourself after. Because it feels like you're eating mostly air. Yeah. Yeah. So the wafer biscuit is very airy and mm. light. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to like this next one. A Jiro Coconut Bar. I I'm a big fan of coconut. coconut. Me too. Oh, yeah. It's a little guy. Oh, yeah. He's a cutie. I'm a fan of coconut. I'm a fan of coconut. It's got cocoa butter substitute in it. I don't Sugar. <laughs> Sugar is the number one ingredient in this. That means it's going to be tasty. And then glucose. Which is also sugar. And then coconut. So. Third ingredient. Does it smell like chocolate? Ooh, that broke really easy, and it's oh, so yeah. pretty on the inside. Look at that. Like that marshmallow consistency, and I hate marshmallows, but... Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my God. It's so white. Oh, it's so soft and airy. Mmm. That reminds me of... I don't even know what it reminds me of, but it's good. Like a better mounds. Yeah. But because it's fluffy like a marshmallow, it kind of reminds me of like those little Christmas candies that you get at Walgreens that have marshmallows and then it's dipped in chocolate. Yeah. yeah. But tastes like coconut. It's just so good. So the consistency of marshmallow. 
I will be ordering more. But it's got coconut on the inside because you can taste it. The coconut flakes. One thing I like about Universal Yums. Can you order them by themselves? So they have a store where you can get some of your favorites. But also. I would order that again. Also, Amazon partners with Universal Yums. And most of the stuff in your box is available on Amazon. Oh, I would order those. Heck yeah. Those and that. Giro's are delicious. That and that thing we just ate. No. What was that one we just ate? This one. I would Mm. order that too. Yeah. Yep. And these. Not the ketchup (laughs) one? Not the ketchup. (laughs) Not it. I'm feeling it. I'm off that train. Not it. Not it. Mm -mm. Okay. Pretzel. The original butter and herb pretzels. I like pretzels. They look like pretzels. Surprisingly underwhelming for me because pretzels are boring to me. I hope that these knock my socks off. <laughs> Maybe they have some. Not really because I like my socks. But... No. Woo! That's an oh, herbaceous yeah. smell. It's a very herbaceous smell. Yeah, you can tell because it's powdery. What herb do you think it is? I'm gonna read. It reminds me of little pretzel bites, like little cheddar pretzel. I took a bite. It's got like a powdery consistency on the outside. Cumin and coriander. I like those. Those are good. You can have the ketchup, and I'll eat these. I'm down with that. <laughs> Save me some carbs. I really like that. I throw some garlic in there though. Mm, I agree. It kind of tastes like chicken soup on a pretzel. Yep. Yep. I'm down for that. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm going to put those in there. You box. know, like ramen? Like chicken flavored ramen? Like chicken flavored yeah. ramen, how it has that that's packet. That's what it tastes, the smell. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what I'm smelling. It's definitely the like the chicken flavored packet. ramen packet. I'm down for that. There's some bullion cube in there. So <laughs> that was really good. I like that. Mm. Okay, next is the cinnamon cookie. Classic quality Ooh, butter cookies I like the package. with cinnamon. This is another thing I like about Universal Yums is that you get full sized items. So, this is huge. Like, this is not one cookie. I bet it comes in a tray. It does come in a tray. I can feel it. I don't even know it. I can feel it coming in a tray cookies. Eat you. And it's cinnamon. I make Ashley laugh all the time oh, by doing absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Well, one of the trays is empty. It's because all the other cookies are right there. They wanted to hop on with their friends. Yeah. But I mean, listen, you they get three, be... six, not 12 cookies in this sucker. They wanted to be besties. I feel like it's a really good deal, really good value. I pay $26 a box, I think. Do I pay $26 a box? I don't know. I think I paid 20 medium size box? Yes. Yes, I get the medium size box. I think that's what mine was. I don't get the super one. I get the medium one. Although I might upgrade because I love it so much. Um, I think mine came with like 12 snacks. This smells like a dog biscuit. No. <laughs> Smell it. It smells like a dog biscuit. Excuse me. It smells like a milk bone. Yep. Yep. Sure does. I'm going to... Take it, it's gonna be crispy. It's not gonna be. It's not my favorite. Oh, cinnamon though. It tastes like a dog. <laughs> yeah. No, that's enough. <laughs> like a cinnamon no. dog treat. Yep. And See, so now I'm not okay that I got 12 of these cookies. <laughs> it's not a fave. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's a strong cinnamon taste afterwards though. So if you really like cinnamon, you might be able to screw with this. It kind of tastes like eggnog. I haven't had eggnog in a while. I like eggnog. But it kind of tastes like an eggnog milk bone cookie. Definitely smells and tastes like a dog treat. I know, doesn't it? Yeah. How weird is that? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's these. The spaghettis apple. Spaghettis. Spaghettis. Gummy green apple strips. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Or those, just gonna open one. Those don't look super appetizing. No, but I think you can string these apart. They look like yellow. Yeah, when I think of apple, I think of green. Green. Because it says green apple on it. I think it's yellow because of the spaghetti. Oh, that makes so sense. So it's going to look like a noodle, but it's going to taste, yeah, because look, you can pull it apart like a Twizzler. Sure, the ancient Egyptians may have invented eye makeup, toothpaste, bowling. <laughs> so easy to pull apart. And the first prosthetic limb. It was a toe. But here's one thing they could never have dreamt up. A stringy green apple gummy. It's not just because green apples were first grown in Australia in 1868. These addictively juicy gummies are made by Egypt Food Groups, a local company that only opened its doors in 2000. So this is a 21st century Egyptian innovation. It's an underwhelming Twizzler. Oh. I didn't even get it. It tastes gummy. And then you get the hint of green apple. The green apple could be stronger for me. I like green apples. It needs to be stronger, though. It looks like I agree. It. It's kind of waxy. Yeah. I mean, I like it, but the flavor. So, have you ever gone to, like, Orchlands and tried their apple twists? No. Oh, they're good. I don't think I've ever been to Orchlands. Okay, we need to go because they have some good-ass <laughs> candy. Anyway. Yeah. These remind me of the apple twists there, only their apple twists are more apple-y. Yeah. The flavor could be better. So, Egypt, uh, you only opened in 2000. That was 20 years ago. But you still have time. Make it a little bit more apple-y. Flavory. Or maybe do Less cherry. Less ketchup, more fruit. Because cherry is a really good flavor. So, oh, I yeah. could always screw with some cherry stuff. I like green apple, though. I'm down. Or strawberry. Okay. And the last thing we have in our box... Our Kona mm. corn cones, mind blowing bugles. pizza. Bugles. They're bugles. Kind of. <laughs> Barbecue. No. Plain. Plain. Okay. Oh, I just want seasonings. On the chicken? Yeah. What do you want, honey? Garlic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want garlic, salt, and chicken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. No, can you put. Do you have Montreal seasoning? Yeah, I want like that on mine too. I want that can on you my put chicken. that on my chicken? I, I don't like barbecue chicken sauce. Chicken yeah. Put yeah. on the chicken. Yeah, that's cool. Or yeah. you want the steak on the chicken? Either one. No, the chicken's fine. Okay. All right. Just Got no it. barbecue. Oh, yeah. I have to <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <clears throat> Dang, we're all about some food today. Kono cones. They're bugles that taste like pizza. They have a full ass supreme pizza on the back. I know, that's why. Mind blowing pizza. Mind blowing? I do love pizza. But do Egyptians oh. know pizza like we know pizza? Probably not. And probably not as good as the Italians. I wanna Facts. I want to try that fiery cheese. Is it weird that I'm Italian just not as Italian as you? But then I got German. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm not as Italian as you. Like, that's oh, not. They're definitely. They're like bugles. They're bigger bugles. You mean so that everyone can put them on their fingers just, and not just children? Yep. Oh. I like these. <laughs> I took a whole ass oh supreme god. pizza in my mouth. Oh my god, yeah. This is not like I think a pizza Pringle where you favorite. only get the tomato. You can taste the olive. You can taste the green pepper. I you like can that. taste a full pizza in this little I don't cone. know, but whoever said they're rejects lied. Oh, that's super ch sweet chili. That's what they didn't include in the box. Girl. Oh. Oh, they didn't make it into the box probably because nobody wanted to try them. I thought it was going to be these. I was like, no. I taste onion, olive, green pepper. It is a supreme pizza yeah, in a cone. I like it. I taste sausage. It's so good. I think it's got banana peppers on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could eat these all day. Okay, let's vote. I went for my favorite. Me too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Pizza. Okay, Pizza, so that's I'm your favorite it. yum. What's your worst yum? Uh, I'm going to go with the biscuit. The dog yep. biscuit. And then the weirdest. Probably the spaghetti thing, because who would think of green apple spaghetti? I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with the ketchup. I think those were weird. Yeah, it's weird, but... Like, think of solid ketchup. No. That's what it is. I'm it's solid ketchup. 
Although, I do have to say, these are a very close runner-up second for me. This barbecue popcorn. My second will be this one. Oh, yeah. So now we get to vote on whether or not we thought the snack crate or the Universal Yum's box was better. Flavor-wise, I'm going to go with this, the Universal. Yeah, it just hit our palate better. Egypt was... Oh, but I like these too. I forgot about the pretzels. Oh, yeah. The, oh. the chicken soup pretzels. Flavor-wise, well, I do like these. I also really like my book better. I like your book better, too. It's I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Snack Crate. I like it. I do, too. You can get I do, too. Weird. And I do have to say, Snack Crate's cheaper than Universal Yum. Yeah, because I think my box was like $13.99. And mine was 26 So, and we... you, I didn't get an overwhelming amount of snacks compared to you. We got about even. Yeah. As far as snacks go. I think go. I got more sweet than you did. So yeah, but that varies per savory. box. So, like, Universal Yum sometimes is sweet, heavy, okay. and sometimes salty. This heavy. round, I like that one. This round. This round, Egypt this wins. Round, Egypt Yeah. Wins. We're not even, well. And I was expecting to like this. I mean, I liked it. There were lots of things in the box that I liked. This I just. This is the worst for me. Egypt. <laughs> A There's a whole ass. Piece oh yeah, of we didn't vote on this one. What was your favorite on this box? Yeah, we did vote Again? on that one. Remember? Oh yeah. I said that the one? peanuts were my favorite. What was your worst? Oh my worst one. This is the worst right there. No, that's disgusting. I think it was the cereal. Oh these. Yeah, it's sour cereal. Yeah, that's the weirdest. Yeah, That's but nice I don't too. know that I would. I don't know that anything in your box was really a, like a turnoff. Like I liked everything, everything in your box. I would eat everything in your box again. I would not I would, eat no, these dog biscuits. I would not again. eat this, and I would not eat this. Oh, I would. Yeah. So I'm gonna say I had the worst item in my box. Yeah. But also, <laughs> no, I think your peanuts were better th than. <laughs> So out of both boxes, your number one is this. Yep. My knickknacks. Yep. Okay. So out of both boxes, see, I'm, I gotta go between this one or this one. See, like this. Well, let's trade. I'll keep your knickknacks and you okay. keep those. Okay. This is why you do this with friends. <laughs> exactly. You just trade snacks. And now we get to go share with the rest of our family yeah. who is going to act equally excited about all of these items. And I'm going to make But aren't as them. cute as we are and as <laughs> fun. Uh, Hilarious. Yeah, all of the things. All, all of them. the things. Um, I'm going to say entertainment savvy. That's what I'm going to say. Well, they're very entertaining. So let's have a sign off. What, what do you want our sign off to be? I don't know. Do we have a name for our video? How about Ash He? My name is Helena, and all of my family calls me Hee Hee. And this is Ashley, and I call her so Ash, call so we Ash. can be Ash Hee. Ashy. I'm about it, I'm about okay. it, okay. Let's do so you're signing off with Helena, Hee. Ashley. Ash. Ashy.